Mike Heath is 75 and a retired history teacher specializing in modern history. He played rugby for his city, Peterborough, and also a county level. He also played mixed hockey for fun and tennis in a competitive evening league. Upon retiring after 37 years teaching, his wife, Sandra, and he came to live in Greece in the West Money, where they had a house built near Stopa. Latterly, he has had a book, The Life and Times of Annie Williams, published and available from Amazon and spent many long hours chopping and changing this book on the Rolling Stones. It is now ready to meet the world. He has always been a big fan of most music, but it is the Stones who have taken prime place in his life, as you will see in his published book, entitled Pumpkins, Silly Boy Pumpkins, released in October 2020. 22 by Eurobox. Let's welcome Mike, who's now connected with us. Hi, Mike, and thank you for accepting this invitation. Thank you for inviting me. So, what is this book about? Introduce it, please. Right from the very start, from when I was about 14 or 15, the same year that the Rolling Stones started, the very first time I heard their music, um, it was something different from Perry Como and Pat Boone and the Moon and June type of, of music. Um, and it, it resonated with me and, I, and I've been a fan ever since. And so I've always been writing this book in my mind right from that particular age, but it was only in the last few years that I decided to, to put it on paper. You know, my, my appreciation of, of the group, my, my view of, of, of the group, partly as a, as a message to other people, to other Rolling Stones fans, to music fans, and to those people who didn't realize that they were fans, perhaps. So why did you decide that it was the moment to write the book? And what was the greatest inspiration? Well, when, I, when we moved to Greece, um, I had two or three books that I wanted to write, and I, I had the time after I had ret I'd retired. And we spent two or three years designing our garden, which took up plenty of time. There's lots and lots of olive trees. Um, and, but once I had the time, um, I was able to sit down and, and devote time to, to, to um, you know, write what I felt needed to be said. Was it challenging to write down this book and how? It, it, it was challenging because it was difficult to know what to put in and what to leave out. What I didn't want to do was to write the story of the Rolling Stones. There are lots and lots of books. People have written lots of books about, about that. This was um, from a, a, a personal point of view, from a fan's point of view, um, you know, why they um, appeal to me. Um, and um, I've been to quite a few of concerts and I've written critiques of, of what, I've, what I've seen, what I've heard. Um, and so um, over the years, because um, the last time I saw them was in 2018 in Manchester, um, it, was, it, was, it was a question of putting everything down um, on, on paper. We can surely say that there, it's plenty, there's plenty of Bach on Rolling Stones out there. Why is your Bach different? Well, as I said, it's because it's, it's not the story of, it's, it's my story, because it's partly autobiographical. Um, people will learn a lot about me that they perhaps didn't know um, from when I was at school um, as a student uh, and then when I was at school as a teacher. The Rolling Stones have, have appeared um, a number of times um, for, for various reasons. I mean, can I, I, I'll give you a, a story. Well, I was teaching about the Vietnam War and in 1968 there were huge protests throughout Europe particularly in Paris, but also in London. And um, I was teaching about the protest movement about, the, about Vietnam. And I had a student who had red hair. His name was Mark Turnbull. And he died, sadly, just recently, I found out. Um, but he turned up to, to lesson with his hair dyed green. He had bondage trousers on. And he had a T-shirt with a group crass written across the front. And we're talking about the, the record 
street fighting man that the, the Rolling Stones wrote. And he reckoned that he said, oh, I, I could have been a good street fighting man. And the girl sat next to him, said, and here you are, studying for your A-levels, you little rebel you. And that was a, to me, that was quite a good put down to somebody who, who thought he was going to be a rebel. But there he was still at school studying for his A-levels. And so that, that's one example of, of, a, of a story of, of how the Rolling Stones appeared um, you know, during my, 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 my school career, if you like. So as you're highlighting, you also touch delicate themes. So if we had to define the profile of the target reader for, for this book, who would that be? Well, as I say, it would be, I'm sure any Rolling Stones fan would be interested to see what another fan said, because they might want to say, oh, I agree with that, or oh, my view is slightly different. Um, and... And I think any music fan, hopefully, would um, uh, be interested to see what uh, what 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 I've written. Um, I had the occasion in the summer last to appear at a, a literary festival before the book was published, and to talk about the book. And I played for them very short extracts of the different genres of music that the Rolling Stones played, whether it was rock, blues, country and western, reggae, punk. They, because they play about 10 or 11 different styles. Now, a number of people in the audience weren't aware of that. They just thought of the Rolling Stones as one type of, uh, one trick pony type of, of group. And so two or three people came up to me afterwards and said, wow, I didn't realise that. And they were then going to go and look and, and perhaps buy some of the Rolling Stones records that they hadn't even heard of or even thought about before. So that, again, would be somebody that, that I was aiming the book for. Thank you, Mike. Thank you again for your time today. And of course, we want to wish you best luck with your book. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much indeed. Bye. The Rolling Stones are truly the greatest rock and roll band in the world and always will be, Dylan once famous said in his contemporaries. The last two, he had it. Everything that came after them, metal, rap, punk, new wave, pop rock, you name it, you can trace it all back to the Rolling Stones. Find Pumpkins, Silly Boy, Pumpkins, written by Mike Heath, now available in bookstores and digital platforms. It's a publication by Eurobox.